Hello, my name is Tina and today I'll show you my new mini desktop laser engraver, I got it from Banggood. Let's start with an unboxing. They shipped in original box, no other protection was there, but the box come in great condition. Inside of the box was Aero adapter, user manual and behind them a power supply and a bunch of insulation. Entire laser engraver is great protected inside of insulation, that's why we don't need extra protection while shipping. Inside we can find laser protective shield, special laser focusing paper, screw and accessories, USB cable and a few testing pieces like playwood and cardboard. And yes, there's also USB drive and of course ready to use mini laser engraver machine. Now the first thing I do is to clean all the mess by the insulation. Laser is quite good protected also from inside. Remove all the blockers so the boot axis can move freely. Ok, let's check a few details now. Here on top is 5 buttons for set the position and start or pause engraving. From right side is a power supply jack and a micro USB to connect to the PC. On rear side is a built in fan to blow smoke and dust away from working area. Entire case is plastic, but it's still very solid. The best part of that laser is that it's got entirely open button, so we can engrave on bigger parts like table, because all the moving part is up there. Some laser that category got moving table below, so we can't engrave on bigger area like 80 by 80 mm. I didn't explode the machine, because from below we can see entire electronic and mechanism of the laser. There's simply circuit board with 5 connectors, 2 are for the stepper motors, 2 are for the fan, and one is for the laser. Laser is 30 by 30 mm size and almost everything is plastic except the treat and lead rod and the two steppers are micro size but there's no force at all and everything running really smooth so laser can do his job solid and accurate. On the bottom of housing is leg from foam which prevents slipping really well. Before I turn on the laser I mount the protective shield on housing. When the power supply is plugged, laser show its position, and it's the starting point right now. Laser doesn't got any of limit switch, so whatever you turn it on is the starting point. But starting point is always behind on left side. Now I got laser front and right side, so it's the limit point. But I can't move axis to starting point with buttons. Of course, because machine think it's on start. So I must push the buttons for end point. Now axis try to move on the end point even if it's already there so the motor will losing steps until the farmer reach the limit point. Ok, now we can go to starting point. Now prepare the PC and install software from USB drive. On USB we can find a demonstration video and software for Windows and Mac users. Sure I open the windows folder and install the driver first, it's done with a few clicks and take us a few seconds. When the driver is installed I open the software folder and there is three different language software. Software is bootable version, so we don't need to install them. Into software first hit the button connect device, when the light turn green the engraver is online. Now click button import pictures and choose some pictures, there are also folder with some sample pictures on USB drive. When the photo is imported, Lasser instantly go to starting position into left back corner. We've got a few functions to edit our photo, like mirroring left right or up down, rotate for 90 degree and invert to negative. Then there's a button to turn on or off the fan on working area, button to delete everything, button for text options, save button and so on. If you want to engrave the text, hit button enter text and type what you want and then hit button for text options to choose font, size and other functions about text. You'll see only a few letters, just enough to see your text options. And when you everything set up, click enter K and now the whole text will appear. Now you can move to wanted position and the engraver will follow to set position. You can see here the measure of the text or photo. With a simple click on measure you can change any of dimension and the text or photo will resize by width and height automatically. 
If we click button back to starting position, text and laser going to home position, left rear corner. And if we click on frame position button, laser starts circulate around the object, so we can see where the object will be engraved. We can set the position on three different ways. We can move the object inside of forking area into software, we can use four buttons to manage the position into software, or just use four button on laser. Then we got few more settings about laser itself. First we can choose from black and white or discrete engraving. For the text we choose black and white. Then we set the contrast of engraving, but for the text it doesn't make any difference because it's just black and white. Then we can set the power of laser and the depth of engraving. With power of laser we set actually power. With depth of engraving we just set the working speed. Higher we set it, slower the laser will be and more material will burn. When we got everything set up, just hit start and the code will transfer to the engraver first, then start to engrave. About 2 minutes later there's first engraved piece. Now try to import some GPG file which is not black and white. When you import that kind of photo it's important to choose discrete engraving first. If you choose that later, it will reset you all the settings you set including size. And there the settings of contrast got big function. There you set how much details you want to get on a great photo. Shortly you got only 4 different settings here, but it's still hard to explain function of each settings. The best way to know their function is lot of playing. This laser already got installed protective glass on front side, but Banggood sent me also protective glasses for extra protection. Now I'll try to engrave one of my logo on beech wood. Firstly I import the photo and set up everything. Because this wood is about 10mm thick I need to set the focus of laser. To do that I use focusing paper, it kills glittering of laser, so it's very easy to set up. If you don't set focus properly you got result like here. When the focus is adjusted, set the position of engraving, put safety glasses on and hit start. This logo is maximum size 80 by 80 mm and almost all the surface is engraved so it need a good hour to finish it. But on end I got pure result. Beach wood is not good for engraving, because structure of wood is uneven. The best result I got with MDF material, because it's got uniform surface. Here I make a few tests with different settings of engraving on MDF material. Now take a look at a few other material which can be engraved. Here I try to engrave and cut out of vinyl printing sticker foil, but the power settings was just a bit too low. Thicker paper thin paper, thin foam, thick foam, 1mm avio plywood, 1mm balsa and a few other testing pieces. Software don't allow us to engrave part of the surface and then change the power of laser and cut it out. So how I make this? It's very simple job but it's not accurate. First engrave the subject into surface then import photo with the shape you want to be cut it. In this case I draw the square into paint and save it as gpg file, then import it, set the power to maximum, center to an engraved subject and cut it out. In this case job can be done much much faster if the laser engraved also by y axis. As you can see it cut only by x axis so there is lot of dead moves. One more great thing of that laser is that the last coat is stored into laser. So if we use it for engraving logos on some product, we don't even need a PC. Simply put laser on the surface we want to engrave, set the position with 4 buttons and hit play button to show us the position of engraving. When we're ready just push and hold the play button and the laser start engraving. I think that's it what I want to tell about this small laser. It's very handy and really easy to use, it's cheap and we got everything we need for work into box. I think the laser is good for playing, but not for any serious work. But I see a good point of use by someone who making good on products, because they can just put laser onto products, push a few buttons and the logo will be great, without any PC. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.